Okay, so I was pretty uh, set that a 424 was going to be the size of machine, but now taking a look at this, this is a YT235 Yanmar. Uh, this is a 30, 30 horse, I guess. Um, if you look at the size, they are pretty similar in size, but I like the fact that the loader on the YT is heavier. It's quite obvious the thing is a little stronger than this one here, than the 424 series. So I did get a price quote, and on this one here it was, the YT was 22,900. So I think in comparison the 424 was like 16. So, but this is a 30 horse, it does have a three speed transmission instead of a two. Um, I don't know, there might be more to it than that, that it costs more. I know the tires are a little bit bigger too. The dash looks like there's a lot more stuff to it. The throttle is here, you get turn signals, same as the other one with the twin uh, hydrostatic pedals for forward and reverse. This is your joystick for the loader, so your hand is on the thing here that reaches nicely. You don't have to reach too far. I don't know, this must be the brake on this side. It's the brake's on the left. This handle here would be then for the parking brake. And your rear mid mount. Rear mid, rear both and mid. PTO control. Changes your speeds. There's two uh, armrests, which is nice, I guess. And then for whatever reason, they got these plastic shields here for something. I don't know uh, exactly what the point of that is. I guess to keep the wind off your leg. Um, in comparison, this machine doesn't go as fast as this, according to their according to Yanmar's specs. I think this one goes up up to it's either 12 or 13, and this one is only 11. So I don't know why that would be. Um, you can see there too the front tires on this 30 horse is a little bit uh, a little bit bigger as well. I don't know what the deal is with the engines though. I know there's probably some sort of uh, filter or something with that emission stuff. So that makes me nervous getting a 30 horse. But I like the way this one looks. Front axles obviously pretty big too, or bigger than this one here. I think it is. I would think it would be. So, I know I think I read somewhere too that the cycle time for the loader is quicker on the 30 horse. It just looks like a much bigger machine. I think it's about a thousand pounds heavier. So, don't know much about it. I'll have to test drive one and see. Uh, see how it works. I know this one has a differential. I'm assuming this lever down here is for the differential lock. The 424 series you can get a lever put on, um, but I guess the brake pedal, the first part of the brake pedal when you push it acts as a differential lock according to their website, which is odd. I don't know how you would use that, but that's what it says. Okay, so now we're at the John Deere dealer. Uh, I'll be honest, I did not uh, do my research here, so I couldn't tell you the difference between a John Deere... What is this? Okay, so this one's a 3025. Obviously a 40 is going to be way different, but there's a... This one here is a 3038E. And uh, it's funny that we're just at the Yanmar, and Yanmar has this in the exact same spot, so I bet they're still using Yanmar engines on these. Um, I don't know about the loader. The loader looks different. This part here looks like it's cast. That looks a little bit different. But this is a 3038E. And then the one on the end here is a 3033R. Whatever that means. I'm not 100% sure. But they look like they're similar size. Um, obviously this one... Whatever the R means, got some sort of push button electronic crap that I wouldn't want anyway. So, 
Um, I like the size of it though. It seems like the size is about the same tires and stuff. I don't like this. I absolutely dislike this. I don't like the fact that there's no armrests on the seat either, which I know seems trivial. It's funny how the throttle's exactly the same, just like a Yanmar. Pedals, yeah. Pedals look like they're the same. Oh yeah, there you go. Brake and diff lock. So it looks like that's one and the same again. That's funny how, uh, that's how Yanmar does it on theirs too, so. I don't know, I wish I knew how much of this was Yanmar and how much of it was John Deere. So, like I said, I didn't really do my research because the John Deere's are just so much more expensive than the Yanmar's. So looking at these 1025's, uh, these look like Tinker Toys. I don't know, uh, I'm definitely not in the market for that. Maybe that uh, fits with somebody's uh, somebody's thing, but I can tell you this looks like the size of my 7, 738, John Deere X738 lawnmower. I don't know, I guess it's got a diesel engine, so that's one thing, and PTO and stuff like that, but and it looks like a Tinker Toy to me. This here, I think, is what I had a price quote on, a 2025. I don't know if it was an R or not. I don't know what that means. But this looks smaller than the Yama, uh, Yanmar 424, and it was $1,000 more. I think it was at least $1,000 more. So that's not real impressive either. So there's obviously some sort of niche for compact, subcompact tractors because they got a bunch of different different sizes and makes. I don't know why there has to be so many different makes. You would think you could get by with three, three sizes, and then just have different options with tires and stuff. But I don't even know what's this on the end here. Oh, this is another 1025. Yeah, these tires got to be the size of what's on my lawnmower, just industrial style. But that would definitely be too small. So these two here are both 3038Es. Um, the difference is. The bucket on the front so this one's got a smaller bucket than this one here the 3033 here this has an h165 loader these two are d160 loaders this loader here is a d170 another d160 and that one's a d170 so they're all different loader numbers i like i said i don't know why it has to be as confusing as it is there's really no reason that they can't use one or two different loaders here. I don't know. And when you talk to a sales guy, no one really wants to give you the time of day looking at these. They're like, okay, you're either going to buy or not. They're not really interested in explaining anything. They give you a price right away. They don't want to haggle. They just give you the price, which is kind of annoying. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Like, they don't explain anything, which is not very impressive. And that's, I mean, it's three different dealerships the Yanmar New Holland this John Deere and then also uh, Kubota they're all about the same nobody gives me the time of day they don't want to waste the time because this is uh, I guess small potato stuff to them so there you go